bad guy, huh? In, in the old uh, Superman comics when I was growing up, I think they've changed it since then, but in the in the 70s, 1970s, it was a long time ago, in Superman, we right, one sec, uh, uh, Lex Luthor was mad at Superman because he was putting some chemical concoction together, and it started a fire in his lab, and Superboy flew in and blew the fire out, and when he blew out the fire, it blew all Lex Luthor's hair out. That's kind of what happened to Chris. All right, his name is Mr. Domination. He's like a buff football player, and his gadget is a whistle. He use, his powers is he uses football players as bodyguards. Like he would sit at his desk and he'd chill, and he was saying like different type of football players, like linemen and stuff, to get them and bring them to his office and tell them to stop the crime. And if they don't, he goes out there on the playing field by himself and gets super mad, super strong. And goes and tell him and like does the action, beat him up, pound him, mm -hmm. but like, like nearly beats him to death, but it's like stops. You right. Know, he, he, Are you a football player? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good to write what you know. So then, so once when he blows that whistle, it's just like a different type of football player just surrounding the enemy. He doesn't do nothing. He's like, do your work or whatever, and then they do it. Or did, but his other thing, is he got a jerry curl and he's super wet. He's got a jerry curl and a what now? He, he got a jerry curl. Super jerry curl. Okay. Yeah. Oh, super wet? Yeah. Okay, and got it. His Does his helmet stay on? No, he doesn't have a helmet. Oh, okay. And then his villain is a blow dryer. So it's like he doesn't want his hair to be blown. That's why he uses the bodyguards to cover him up. Mm -hmm. Try to fight the, the arch villain is a blow dryer? Yeah. Gotcha. And his uh, origin is a uh, reason why I came like this because he got real, real mad because he lost a championship game. And he was close to winning the Heisman Trophy in college, but he couldn't. He couldn't get it because his team didn't come up for it. So he got mad at everybody. He took it out on his whole team. He naturally got stoned. So is he a good guy though? Yeah. Okay. But he has like a short trip, so he's like the hawk. Oh, okay, like the, the misunderstood yeah. sort of beast. Yeah. Kind of thing. Okay. But he never gets tired. Though. He never gets tired. Oh, so he never goes back to being yeah. the. Li can can we let's show the picture? That's it. No, you don't want to show it? Oh, okay. I think it's cool, man. It's good. All right. I like it. Donut girl. Donut girl. Whoa. She likes the donuts, huh? <laughs> and she has a dozen. And she has a dozen, like, that's 12, right? Does she, now, what? tell me about uh, how did she become donut girl? She... T until she was about, like, 10, she hasn't had... She has never had a donut. And then she tried a donut, and then she dedicated her whole life to donuts. <laughs> Eating donuts, nice. <laughs> yes. Does she have powers? Her powers are basically hypnotizing people with her yummy donuts. Kind of like the Krispy Kreme place whenever you drive by. <laughs> <laughs> really morning. Did you see ever you ever been to Krispy Kreme? No. Oh, you gotta get Daddy to take you to Krispy Kreme. You smell that smell driving down the freeway. And it doesn't matter if you're late for work, whatever it is you're doing, you, you just pull in and you join the line of cars waiting for the cr fresh Krispy Kreme donuts. Awesome. Does she have a villain? Um, actually, I'm going to draw one well, right after. after. I'm going to take more pictures at the end, but I wanted that picture. Cool. I, I have an idea for a villain. Captain Calories. <laughs> you can have that. I, 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 okay. Cool. Thanks for sharing. My name's Little Tommy, and I'm 56 years old. <laughs> hey, how's it going? What do we got here now? Hey, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is Anchorman. Anchorman, okay. Yeah, I couldn't bring And he's outside of the donut den. He's outside of the donut den. Uh, he's got bags of money. Mm -hmm. um, the copters are overhead. He's reading from the teleprompter. He's stomping all over ethics. Is he, um, is he a villain or a hero? He must work on Sounds like a hero to <laughs> me. Um, oh, wait. Ethics. Oh, ethics. Oh, I, I thought that was Enron. I'm sorry. Oh, no, ethics. I, I, I'm thinking he's probably a, a little bit of a villain and hero. Okay. But, uh, and his, his powers are uh, that of a chameleon. Okay. He, he can be anything at any time. Um, his villains would be old age. Um, Things that, that get that make you not that would make him eligible for that right, kind of job. That, that would really that would work against him. A younger competition, I think, is, are his arch villains. I don't know. I'm just so he's kind of like a uh, what do they call that? Like a semi hero or what? What do they call those, Chris? Anti hero. Anti hero. Yeah, you, you kind of root for the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the best I could do. <laughs> are you an anchor man? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ask. <laughs> cool. Hey, thanks for sharing, man.
We're about to move on to designing a comic book page. This is where it all comes together. Yeah, and this is Ava. Um, so comic books are what they call sequential artwork. It's a story made up of many pictures, okay? So we're going to, our thing is falling apart. I'm gonna draw some squares on here, okay? And in these squares, we're gonna draw pictures, okay? I'm gonna draw the first picture, and Ava, you're gonna draw the second one, okay? So when, when you guys read a story, take, take a look inside the first page of all these books you guys have. The first page. Uh, any book here. The very first page of the books, you'll see what they call in showbiz an establishing shot. And that shows you where your story takes place, okay? So we're, we're, we're telling a story about Captain Campfire and, and Rotten Frozen Orange. We're talking about where our story takes place. Like right now, if we were to do a story that takes place here, it would take place in a library, right? But since we're telling a Captain Campfire story, yeah. How about we set it on a campground? What do you guys think? A campground? Does that make sense for Captain Campfire? So our establishing shot, we have a tent here. This is not a very pretty tent, but it, it is a tent. And then this is a, a campfire over, a campfire out of control. Sorry, I'm not an artist, but uh, as long as you guys kind of can bear with me here. And there's a tree, right? And over here is a rotten orange. So this is what they call what now? Do you guys remember? It's where you set up the scene. It's an establishing shot. Basically what we've done, just in review so far, guys, we remember, we've created a superhero, we've, which is our main character. Reason why he became a superhero or she became a superhero, powers for the superhero, what makes them do what they do. And we've also thought about a bad guy, right? Same thing with the bad guy powers for the bad guy, what turned him or her into a bad guy, and now we want to put them together in a story, right? When we tell a story, we're, the story is told with many panels, okay, we want to think about when, when, they, when they face off against one another, what's the, what's the message we want people to learn from that story, okay? So when you're home and you ha all you need is a pencil, a paper and your imagination and you can create stories I'm sure mom and dad would love to read these stories you guys create we start with an establishing shot so if we're doing a story that takes place with what's happening right now what would be the first thing we would see city. the city probably the library, library right and then show us in here and like what's going on and, and then uh, the, the the Jerry curl football guy would come in and he'd be on a rampage and and uh, Fat Franny have to, you know, and, and I, th I see a, a team up here, Fat Franny and Donut Girl. They make a good team, huh? <laughs> uh, so just, you know, use your imagination. Here's the, here's the tools you need to make comic books, okay? Paper, pencil, and what? Imagination. Boom, yes, yes. And uh, that's that's all I got. That's all we know. Chris, anything you want to add? Just a plug. Just a plug. Yeah. All right. Yes. Sidekick. Of course, oh, yes. Side, you know why they sidekick. created sidekicks? The, I believe the first sidekick might have been, Bu uh, not Bucky, uh, Robin for Batman. It was about a year into the story. Because they kept, it was like so awkward. Batman was always talking to himself. Like, you know, <laughs> fighting crime. And he had to explain what was going on. They're like, we need to give him somebody to talk to. So they, they created Robin. And they also made him younger and more colorful to bring in younger readers. So, sidekicks are always good. It's no fun.